in the pre-trial hearing, were you privy to any documents or any information that would have uh, either suggested or concreted the idea that there was, in fact, communication between either Lev Derman and John Saldivar or Jacob Kingston and John Saldivar? Did you see anything that would have uh, substantiated any of these allegations? Well, I mean, uh, I think you've probably seen the court documents that have been made public in the United States. There's a reference to text messages between Jacob Kingston and John Saldivar. Um, it doesn't say what the contents of those messages were. When I was in a pretrial hearing on January 13th, the prosecutors discussed this a little bit more and said that uh, Jacob Kingston plans to testify about the cash payments that were being made. Um, they didn't elaborate uh, much beyond that, and I had forgotten about it until I looked at my notes this week um, and saw that reference to John Saldiver. Um, uh, I mean, that, that's how much public corruption and money has been discussed in this case. Like, a, you know, allegedly bribing a, a minister in Belize didn't even uh, ring that many bells with me until I wrote it down and then I, I saw it in my notes later. Okay. Is there anything else of interest? I know that the court recessed today and the hearing will resume sometime in next week, Monday or Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. But is there anything yeah. else of interest you can share with us insofar as new developments? Well, the trial wow. resumes Monday here in Salt Lake City. Um, Jacob Kingston is expected to testify sometime in the coming week. We aren't sure what day yet. They have some other witnesses that they want to put on first. Uh, but we think we'll probably hear from Jacob Kingston by midweek. And uh, we'll see if he actually says aloud in the courtroom that uh, these payments were being made. What wit or what gravity would this revelation have on the case? I, I know you're, you're following it closely and you're not perhaps a legal mind in that sense, but <laughs> what, what effect do you believe that this testimony would have on the overall trial against Lev Derman? Well, I mean, that's an interesting question. Again, Lev Derman isn't specifically charged with bribing anybody. He's charged with um, conspiracy and money laundering counts. Um, so I guess the extent to which anything about John Saldive, sorry, to the extent to which anything about John Saldive is important um, is only if um, the jury believes that it's an element uh, of the conspiracy or helps prove a conspiracy.